Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Canine Clips, and this is Dougie, and Dougie is a Yorkie crossed with a Pomeranian, and he's come in for his full grooming today, and I'm going to show you that. He's actually going to be getting a scissor cut, and I will show you the full process of that. So I'm just going to take a little bit off his face to start, and I am going to be leaving his body quite a bit longer. So I don't want to take too much off his face when I groom him, but just kind of clean it up. And as you can see, I don't use any restraints when I groom. And I never have used any restraints. Just different techniques that I've learned and taught myself over the years to be able to work with the dogs without ever having to actually restrain them. And there are some holding techniques that I do use um, that uh, you can see in, in many of my other videos that I've posted from dogs that are a little bit difficult. But when I do maneuver them, I make sure that they do not hold, put any pressure on their throat um, I'm using the back of their jawline or the top back of their skull to maneuver them around. So if you'd like to see how I groom other dogs as well, please check out and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. Um, I do have a wide variety of dog breeds that come through my dog grooming salon here. And uh, I have those all up for you. I also post um, videos of dogs unique characteristics that I see that come through and also just health concerns um, that you may just want to be aware of. So I'm just rounding out the ears and just taking a little bit off. So when you're scissor cutting, um, you're going on an angle because if you go um, you have to go different angles because you want to make sure you layer it properly. On the top, I just go straight from the top. Actually, first, I'm going to comb him out a little bit just because he does have an undercoat. And I do want it to stay, um, you know, give it the full effect of when I'm trimming it. And I will be combing him a couple times to make sure I get the undercoat out there. And I'll be trimming up his bum area quite a bit closer as well. He's a pretty relaxed guy. As you can see, this is his first time being groomed with me. See, there's quite a bit of undercoat under there. That's the Pomeranian coming out. Oh, well, when he's done getting groomed here, he'll be quite a bit thinner because it'll lay down quite a bit more for him. And obviously he'll be with all this taken out, he'll shed a little bit less, hey? Eh? <laughs> Good boy. So I've been grooming just for over 16 years now. So and in that time, you know, you learn all the techniques that work for you and and holding the dogs and even the groom itself how to get a nice looking groom and finish look you see lots of groomers on on there that uh, always have a little bit different techniques and that's just how it works you find something that works for you and that you're comfortable with 
Um, and then you kind of build on that. So I'm trying to get you the best videos of him. Oh, sorry, bud. But got a little map there. But we did get it out. Okay, okay. Too much there. You get a little bit more resistance, you just kind of take a little less at a time. Okay, let's keep going, bud. And with the bum area, I know it's going to be quite a bit thicker, so I'm not going to try to comb it out first. I'm going to trim it, then comb it, then trim it, and comb it, and trim it again. So it takes a few tries because it's thicker back there, and I don't really want to comb it all out if I don't have to. So that's just a little bit stressful for, for him, so I don't really want to put him through that if I don't have to. Okay, now we are ready for the trim. So we'll do like that again. And I started on the head already. So we have to back that up. And I have done many of these, so. <laughs> Top, I just kind of go up. And the side, I go up and down. See, he's got a different type of fur underneath, so I'm just trying to just get at the tip of that. And that's how I'm keeping my idea of what length I want to trim. And I'll just even it out quite a bit. But keeping still lots of nice length for him because we don't want to get too close to under that undercoat. But keep it so it all kind of blends together too. All right, and while I'm here, I'm going to do his feet. I just kind of go back and forth from one thing to another when I do a scissor cut. We do the majority of the cut at the beginning um, because when he's wet, um, it's a little harder to blend everything. So you really got to blow dry them good at the end. So I try to do a really good cut at the beginning and then usually there's just a little bit of touch up after. So I'm going to round his feet and clean out the inside of the pads there. And get those nails cut. So after I do this trim with the scissors, I'm actually going to brush them out again and see if it brings up anything. Okay. 
scissor cut is the one that looks the most easiest to do, but it actually is the hardest one because it's uh, otherwise you got to be very careful. Otherwise, it can become very choppy and create a lot of lines in the dog. So you got to kind of watch how the fur is growing, and you got to kind of layer it in different ways so that it doesn't look choppy. It looks real natural. So, although it does look easier, it is definitely a skill to acquire. Okay, it's okay. Hey, Dougie. Okay, good boy. me out there. Okay, good boy. Okay, good boy. Okay, so let's do this side here. Same kind of system. And I have used on palm reins like the three quarter inch blade as well, which also does a very nice cut. But well, of course, with the scissor cut, um, you get a little bit more length as well as uh, less chance of creating any lines in the cut in the groom. Be careful again, like I said, just to create not to create lines if you can. But it all depends on that fur is growing. Okay, so I'm going to do this for now.
A stare down here. It's like, what are you doing? Okay. I'm going to use my other papers because the other ones aren't cutting as good. It might be time to replace them. And he's got six nails for the little guy. There you go. Good boy. It's all about fluffing it up several times. You also got to see how it lays, and that'll kind of come after the blow dry. Got lots of static in there, it's kind of sticks to me. Okay. okay, so now I'm going to scissor cut the bum area. This area is quite thick, as you would know, in any palm meridian. So I do trim this a bit shorter than the body because it is an area that is more likely to have matting in it and, of course, for stuff to stick to it. check the glands and how you check the glands is on either side of the bum hole there you can just feel like little marbles so um, if there are little marbles I guess I should say that means they need to be done um, which he does have so I will be doing his glands when I give him the bath Just 
relieve them of that pressure. And some dogs just need it done regularly, while others never need it done. So sometimes it um, depends on your dog's diet. So sometimes if you just change the diet, it may correct itself. But there are some dogs that uh, it's just the way they are. And so for the diet to correct, um, you can uh, remove the grains from their diet. And then of course any byproducts of that nature. And that might help that process. And of course you don't want to cut it too short, otherwise it wouldn't look too natural, because that's the key with a scissor cut. You still want it to look like that's how it's meant to be, naturally. But I do trim a little bit shorter in this area for sure just so to help prevent stuff from sticking in there okay i know good boy all right so i'm just going to comb it out again just to see how it there's any under coat under there that can be taken out Little bit on the side here. I'm just going to check the other side. And usually, if it's on one, it's on the other. Good boy. Good boy, doggy. There. All right, so I'm just going to go back. Hi, buddy. Okay, good boy. Okay, I just want to check his head here a little bit. Because I do put some uh, muff on him to cover his ear, so I may not be able to get them all dried. So it's good to get this done before the bath. Okay, and I'm just going to trim really close under, right under his ear. I just make sure that the the airflow goes good in there. And his ears are very healthy. He's got the Pomeranian ears, which have very little to no hair in them. And we're just going to trim just a little off the ears. So we want to keep that natural look as well. Okay, 
I'm just going to pluck out that little bit of hair in there. Like I said, there's not very much, but just a little bit. So we'll take that out. Very little. You can kind of see it there. All right, and same for that side. Good boy. He's such a good boy. Okay, and now it's time to go into the tub. There we go. Oh, actually, I'm going to put gloves on for cleaning. We'll be doing the glands. I'm just going to grab some paper towel as well. face you want to make sure you have the water go down the head but not spray directly into the ear canal. The dog can get water in his ears but it's better if you don't directly shoot it in there. He will shake it out if it gets in there but be on the safe side it's always better not to put any excess if you don't have to. I'm going to do his glands now. All right, so again, I'm just going to feel beside each of the, uh, on the bump hole there, and just squeeze it together. I know. And there just was a little bit in there. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe that area down again. Rinse away any excess. And then we're going to start with the shampoo. do express the anal glands um, they can have a little bit of a smell <laughs> so I do prefer to do it when they're in their bath because then you can clean the area around there just catch anything that you, you know might be still on the fur Concentrated shampoo that's deep conditioning as well. Okay, good boy.
excess uh, water from his body. And that way I can also check to make sure there's no um, soap residue left on his fur. Because you don't really want that because it'll make him a bit itchy. Here we go. Okay, now you can shake it out. No, he doesn't want to. Okay, so I'm going to just get him ready back to the table to give him a good blow dry. as I can out. And a little lipstick on his forehead there. Some mama's kisses. I think we got it out, but it is a little waxy, so there might be still a little residue left. Ear protection. I'm just gonna move this. All right.
pull out. Lots of little hairs flying in there. There we go, good boy. Even though I've brushed them out a couple times, there's still quite a bit under there. It's quite common with these breeds. Well, sometimes it takes a few tries to get it all out. But once you do, it lays down really nice, the fur. Another one. That's a good boy. Okay, so once I get it all combed out again, let's go back and uh, check over some, usually around the neck, as you can see. course just like with any dog you're never going to get it perfect because what sticks up now or what doesn't stick up now may stick up later if the 
just try to do the best you can. Kind of evening it all out and blending it. Oh boy. And there we go. So there is a scissor cut on a Pomeranian Yorkie crossbreed. I'll still do a little bit of finishing up here with the scissors. Go over him. But for the most part, I'm all done here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you'll check out and subscribe to my channel. And let me know what you think. And uh, of course, hope you have a great day. And we'll see you again soon.